Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuny School, and on this Tech Tuesday, we're going to be talking about how to record using this HP Tuners MPVI Pro data logger without using your laptop. So this is what HP Tuners calls standalone data logging. Basically, it's a way for you to record data to this unit without ever having to actually hook up your laptop. And it's a really awesome feature, but there's a couple things that you need to know before we get started. So the first is this is only going to work on an HP Tuners Pro unit. How do you know if you have a Pro unit or a standard unit? It's quite simple. All you're gonna do is check the side of your unit, and if you have this green input for that green plug for inputs and outputs, then you have the Pro unit. If a standard unit, this isn't going to work with your unit. Now, something else you want to keep in mind is that this will take up to about 32 individual data logs if they're relatively small, or it'll record up to 80 minutes worth of data. Now, that's a lot of data, more so than most people are going to need. Now, why is this so important to be able to record without the laptop? Well, if you're at the drag strip and you're trying to make a pass, you want to know what your car is doing, right? The tech guys usually don't like it when they see the laptop open in the seat next to you. You're also going to be tuning on the street at times. When you're doing that, the laptop's gonna slide around, it's gonna fall on the floor, it's gonna slam shut, all these different things can happen. You're also gonna have scenarios where you're just driving the car every day, and let's say something weird starts to happen, you don't necessarily have to bust out your laptop to capture that data, you can just hit this button. So now that you guys understand the basics of how this is gonna work, I'm gonna actually show you how to set it up and use it using my 2004 Silverado. So here we are in my 2004 Silverado, and the first thing that we need to do is we have to write the channels list to this MPVI Pro right here. So basically we have to tell it what data we want it to record. So we've got it hooked to the laptop and we've got it hooked to the car right now. So what we have to do before we do anything else is we have to select connect to vehicle because we have to tell it what vehicle it's working with. So you're gonna click the blue car for connect to vehicle. And for this part, the key does have to be on and my key was not, so it's probably gonna fail. And it did, and that's okay. So now that my key is on, we're going to cl cl click the blue car again, and it's going to gather the vehicle information. So now you see at the very top of the screen, it says connected 2004 Chevrolet Silverado. So now that that is good to go, we're going to select vehicle at the top of the screen here, and then we're going to select MPVI Pro data logging. This is going to bring up a pop-up window where we're going to control all the features for data logging to this unit. It's things like reading the logs out of the unit, erasing the logs, writing the configuration, everything like that. So now that we're here, we have a couple options before we write the config. We have to choose the scan rate. So we can choose a slower scan rate, which is going to be a longer duration, or we can choose the normal scan rate, which is going to be more precise. Most of the time, I'm using the normal scan rate because it seems to work better for what I like to do. Now, once we click the Write Config button, all of the data that we have set up over here is going to be put onto this unit and told to record that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and click Write Config. And you can see at the bottom, it's going to go through its thing. It says Status, Writing Config, Writing Config Completed. So at this point, we're ready to rock and roll, and we can start recording to this unit without any laptop. All right, guys. So the reason that this is so awesome is because at any point I could decide that I want to actually start recording. So I'm out driving right now and let's say I drive a 2004 Silverado and it likes to try and break down on me all the time. If it starts doing weird stuff, all I have to do is hold that record button and you see now I've got it recording. So it's super easy, super convenient. I don't even have a laptop in this truck right now. So this is great for anybody that's doing any kind of drag racing, off-road racing, even road course racing. Anything that prohibits you from actually having a laptop in the car this is perfect for because you just you don't have to have the laptop in the car. Now, if you know at some point you go, okay, that's enough data. I want to go ahead and stop recording my data. All you got to do is to take the stop button right here. You're going to press and hold that for two seconds, and it's going to say busy because it's going to save my data. And then after that, we're pretty much good to go. I mean, you could pretty much do this as many times as you want. Like I said earlier, you could do up to 32 scan logs or up to 80 minutes worth of data. So that's usually more than enough for you to capture exactly what you want to see inside of your log file. So now that we have recorded some data, we're going to hook this back up to our laptop. We're going to go into the VCM scanner. We're going to go back to vehicle and back to MPVI Pro data logging. And the first thing we're going to do is click the Get Info button. Now this is going to tell us that we took one log file and it's going to tell us that it used 3% of the memory. Now that we see how many log files are actually in here, we're going to go ahead and click Read All Logs. 
and as it reads the logs, it's going to ask us to save them each individually. So we will call this log data1 and click save. Now once we've got the log saved that we wanted, we can go ahead and close this pop-up window and you would just go to log file and edit, or excuse me, log file and open, just like any other log file and you're going to go ahead and double click on it to open up the data and see exactly what you recorded. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you find this information helpful in your day-to-day -day tuning. If you need any more high-performance tuning knowledge, make sure you check out the Tuning School on our website or our social media pages.